It says more about you than it does anything else. It says more about you than it does the content creator. Before I get into that, let me get into this. So I'm make a bunch of videos. When they get released, I just expect the engagement to be normal. 100 views at best, one, two comments. And that. Sometimes I make videos on that and they get released and the engagement is through the roof. So I dropped a video a couple days ago, why I'm anti-social. And that's expected the engagement to be normal. Wow, bear man underneath the comment section and that and the gallum as well. Big up all the gallum underneath the comment section. Even my brother Tyrone phoned me up, text me, yo man, resonate with that video and that. Like, obviously, us man grow together and that were cut from the same cloth, same mindset. So that video there, I was actually surprised, like why I'm anti-social. I had done so well. Initially, I was gonna call the video why I'm anti, but a lot of people won't understand what the term means, and it's an old school thing that man used to term man used to use in it like 12 13 years ago when i was on road why man's anti in it so basically why man's just different to other people in it basically anti a n t i not anti i ain't your auntie i ain't african i ain't a woman yeah a n t i anti so literally that's what i was going to call the video why i'm anti but people won't understand what it means and so why i'm anti-social in it and literally that video like i said the engagement was good so go check out that video, why I'm anti-social, 30 minute, 30 minute long video on that. Get your popcorn out. But man's just talking about various different shit like dealing with neighbours, dealing with I think people at work, you know, just man went around the block with that video on it. So go check out that one, why I'm anti-social. Anyway, let me get into the main talking point of this video. Uh, it says more about you than it does the content creator on it. So man was in bed the other day, uh, obviously, Man, I used to watch a lot of Kevin Samuels' TV day. R.I.P. Kevin Samuels, the GOAT. And I remember when he passed away and that, bare people were like taking the piss and mocking, man, and that. And even when he was alive and that, I used to watch his thing, see the comments on the live chat and obviously the comments underneath the comment section and that. And a lot of people used to be pissed off with man like Kevin Samuels and that. And I know why. Even me, there's people that I know they ain't said it to my face and that. But I know there's people that I know and there's people that I don't know that watch my thing and they're pissed off with what I say, you know. Do you know why? The people then that's pissed off with man like me and like Kevin Samuels, all these content creators and that. The reason why they're pissed off with their content is because they know the points that the content creator highlights, they're not willing to do anything about it because they're either too stupid or too fucking lazy, blood. So I would say, get off your ass, Andy. Get me, make something of yourself and that. And there's some people, they don't even know how to do that. They're too lazy to, blood. Instead of trying to fix the problem, which is themselves, they want to blame everyone else. When man make videos on this black thing, a lot of black people get pissed off, you know. Because I'm saying that the problem is ourselves. The problem is not white people and that. Black people don't want to hear that, blood. They want to hear that it's white people that's the problem and that. The problem is not white people. The problem is us. People watch my content, people unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Certain idiots right now might unsubscribe. Unsubscribe, man, I don't need your support, blood. People want to unsubscribe, people want to leave nasty comments and that, do your thing, fam. It says more about you than it does about anything else. The reason why you're pissed off with certain people's content because you're not willing to make the change, blood. I used to see the Gyalim underneath the comment section. Kevin Samuels' videos and that. <clears throat> yeah, they just get vex and that, keyboards and that. Because they know they're not willing to, to make changes and that. They want to be fat and overweight and feel like they can get a top tier man and that. Blood, you're not top tier, blood. Man will have the women on his live stream and that. I swear to God, I would love to be able to get the video clip up. There was one woman. This woman is 60 years old. Not nice looking, you know, because there's obviously one or two 60-year-old women that are looking good and that. But it ain't like this one. She's 60 years old. He asked her, would you rate yourself out of 10? Can't use a 7. She called us, she rated herself 8 out of 10. And he said, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is what the fuck. How the fuck's a 60-year-old woman an 8 out of 10? Really? Really? Women, they get pissed off with Kevin Samuels and that. When men highlight their flaws and that, the people them that are not willing to do anything or make any changes and that, they'll get pissed off. Man like Andrew Tate, free up man like Andrew Tate, I heard... Because today is the 1st of February. I heard they might be releasing him, hopefully, today, innit? Yeah, if not in a couple of days, or if not, like, man shouldn't have to spend an extra 30 days in jail. Innit? But um, he will say stuff and that. Certain people will get pissed off with Andrew Tate. 
because they know their life is shit, their life sucks. They're not willing to make the steps and make the changes to better themselves and that. Me, I love to have brethren like Andrew Tate and that. Like me, I'm not one of them guys that just want to be around people that's not doing nothing. I want to be around people that's doing shit. Man, I ain't got no one around me that's really doing stuff. But I love to have friends like that that are motivated and that, you get me, killing it. Certain people, they want to want to be around someone like Andrew Tate. Oh, he's too arrogant and that. Oh, he's full of himself. Nah, fam. You see the people them that say, oh, you're too full of yourself and that they're the people them that have low self-esteem. Have you ever heard someone say this? Have you ever heard someone say this? Don't get a big head, but blah, 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 blah. So basically what they're saying is don't get a big head, but I'm about to uh, compliment you or whatever. Really. Yeah. You see people that say, I've, ne I I've never said that in my life. Don't get a big head, but such and such, whatever. Really. Yeah. This person said this good thing about you. You see the people that say, don't get a big head, and then they compliment you. Deep down, they have low self-esteem because... They can't, it's almost like they're scared for other people to feel good about themselves. You know, my, my girl calls me the N-word all the time. Not, 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 not that N-word, are you fucking mad? She calls me a narcissist all the time. See, if you're full of yourself, apparently you're a narcissist. No, you're not a fucking narcissist, blood. Nowadays, it's a crime, you know. It's a crime to look in the mirror and love the reflection, you know. It's a crime to talk about your achievements and that. It's a crime to do well, you know. There's certain times I go to certain tenants' yards and that, and they're telling me about all their financial problems and that. And it's almost like they're trying to put me in there like, yeah, man, you know, you're struggling with bills. Like, trying to, nah, I'm, blood, I ain't struggling with bills and that, blood. Don't get, don't get it to him. I don't go boasting and telling all the tenants and that, but, yeah. I'm not struggling for bills and that. I just keep it still. Mum's like, yeah, I understand what you're saying and that because some of these people, they're just on a different planet. Man can't even chat to them about like, some of these people, if I tell them like, yo, man's got three properties and that, they'll think, what, you some fucking drug dealer, blood. Literally. They'll think like, but how the fuck is it possible? Because they don't feel like it's possible. Because they just, they, a lot of people in this world, they sit around, they fuck about and they feel like life is just gonna work itself out. Blood, life does not work itself out, fam. People throwing out this N-word, narcissist, narcissist, narcissist. Yeah, everyone's a narcissist. Like, how the fuck can you call someone a narcissist just because, you know, they in love? You should love yourself. You should love yourself. Anyone that calls someone a narcissist all the time, loosely and that, they probably... You know what I'm saying, innit? They don't love themselves. They have low self-esteem and that. Like, you should love yourself. That's all the time I see girls calling man them and people flinging out this N-word narcissist and that. The people them that fling out the word narcissist and that, they probably don't love themselves. Like, you should love yourself, blood. You should be proud of yourself. The people them that think, like, oh, it's a crime to be proud of yourself. You shouldn't talk about your achievements and that. But they don't have no... They have nothing to write home about. They have nothing to shout about. They're not proud of them. So you should be proud of yourself. You should be putting in the fucking work. There's people out here, they feel like they can sit in the same room as me and be my equal. No, you're not my equal. Yeah, we might be men, we, yeah, but we're not equal. You're not willing to make the sacrifice like me. You're not willing to put in the hard, hard work like me. You're lazy, blood. So, yeah, people will get pissed off with people like Andrew Tay, RIP Kevin Samuels, the goal and that. Because man like that, the man are highlighting people's flaws. And a lot of people, they don't want to take criticism. They can't take criticism. Do you know why? Because they're not willing to put in the work to get themselves out of their problems and that. I know again. She told me, ah, oh, I must have mentioned Kevin Samuels. Oh, I don't like him. I know why she don't like him. She's fat. She's short. She's over 40. She's a single mum. Who the fuck? Of course you're not going to like Kevin Samuels. The fuck, blood? Like, oh, I don't like Kevin Samuels. Do we want a girl like that? I don't like Kevin Samuels because he talks about all of this. Like, oh, you know, if you're a single mom and that, you, you get me, you got your down a peg. If you're over this age, you're down a peg. If you're overweight, you're down a peg. You got fucking girls who are five foot two, little short little girls, five foot two, or women, gal, shall I say, five foot two gal who are fucking 80 kilos and that. How the fuck are you five foot two and 80 kilos, blood? You're a short person, therefore you should be a thin person. 
To be fair, you should be a thin person regardless. How the fuck are you five foot two and you're eighty kilos? But I'm five foot nine. Yeah, I ain't tall. Yeah, I ain't tall, blood. But you know what? But man, seventy five kg, blood. That's a decent weight for my height. Not for how the fuck? How the fuck can someone be shorter than me substantially but heavier than me? There's gal right now walking around at five foot eight and they're over a hundred kilos, blood. Of course, gal are not gonna like Kevin Samuels and that. You know why? Because they feel like they should be able to just eat whatever they want. And a man should just love them for who they are. But it's a competition out here. Unfortunately. Me, I don't compete with no one in it. I compete with myself. But for the most part, in reality, we're competing with other people. That's what this is what happens, yeah. Gal hit a certain age, whatever in it, yeah, the 30s or whatever in it, and they realize you know what, yeah. Every day a new girl turns 21 and that. And they realize you know what, yeah. I ain't getting no younger and I ain't gonna, my, my looks are not improving. I'm on a decline right now. I need to go and bag myself a man. <laughs> what happens is when they try and bag themselves a man, they never get a man. They never get a man. That's why they hate man them like fucking Kevin Samuels, you know? So I know right now the way I'm talking is anti. Yeah, man's talking anti right now, isn't it? Yeah, but it's the truth, innit? Anti. I should have called myself anti J, you know? A N T I. Wrong brother to fuck with, so be wise. Hey, listen, that might be my new look of, you get me, end slogan, A-N-T-I. The wrong brother to fuck with, so be wise.